starting to understand and I do believe Trump has sent us a message and he actually put a picture of a bird in one of the truths because remember he calls Nikki Haley bird brain so he said tricky Nikki Haley often refer referred to as bird brain and there's a little picture of a bird is dying in the polls where Americans for no prosperity donors have abandoned her and only a few Democrats funders are left and it's very interesting that he put a bird in there because that reminds me of post 753 it, it is February 13, 2018, which we're coming up to a delta here. Think image drop, think OP, think united. When does a bird sin? Everything has meaning. And then in brackets is a capital letter I. Well, that brings me to post 4951, November 12th. Nothing can stop what is coming. And there's an I in brackets. It says who stepped down today? That would be Krebs, who was working for CISA. More coming, why is this relevant? And I do believe this is the important part. How do you show the public the truth? How do you safeguard U.S. elections post POTUS? How do you remove foreign interference and corruption and install U.S. owned voter ID laws and other safeguards? It had to be this way. Sometimes you must walk through the darkness before you see the light. And I do believe Trump, he's letting us know that the elections are going to be protected. And yes, I do believe we're probably going to use paper ballots, we're probably going to use voter IDs, and I do believe he has a way of bringing this in. Now, is he just going to come out and say, hey, we've got to use it? No. I do believe the optics are going to be perfect, and I do believe Biden is going to be the one, or the agencies are going to be instructed to do this, because this is their backup plan if something should happen to the election infrastructure, if it's attacked somehow some way but we'll have to see how this all plays out but you can see why the deep state players they're so panicky over trump right now because again trump he has the people and out in south carolina trump was speaking to the crowd there it was the overflow crowd and there were so many people and the people were lining the streets the people they came out to see him and you can see the difference right now trump has the crowds he has the rallies and hillary clinton she was out at Columbia University and she was giving a talk and people started to scream at her and they started to call her a war criminal. So here we have Trump, the people love him, the people are rallying around him and the people now are calling Hillary Clinton a war criminal. And we see people waking up. We have Michael Rappaport who despised Trump and he fell for the fake news media line that, you know, Trump said, there are very fine people. And that was a hoax because he didn't read the full transcript. And now he's out there telling his listeners, yes, the fake news lied to you. So people now are waking up and it is spreading. Now, there is other good news here out of Arizona. The State House and Senate passed massive election integrity measures to safeguard the 2024 presidential election. The new law defines standards for absentee ballot affidavit signatures and streamlines the process for accuracy. And we have Hobbs has no choice but to sign this because it was a lengthy negotiation and both sides came to a consensus. And we could see that things are now changing. Now, the other thing that's very interesting, we know the Super Bowl is Sunday, which is today. And Elon Musk put out a very interesting picture. It says... I love puppies and chose four puppies. They're not touching the ground, but when you look closely at it, it says send nudes. And GH17 Tafcat put this out on X and said the following. On the day of the Super Bowl, Elon drops I love puppies. Remember drop 2843? Fear, but you knew that already. The fun begins directly after the Super Bowl. We will make the Super Bowl look like a puppy show. And that is very interesting. We'll have to see how this all plays out. And again, the fun starts after this. Now, Trump, he's continually letting everyone know that we are in the final battle. And we are in the final battle. This is where the people decide, do we allow the deep state to win or do we take back the country? It doesn't mean at that moment when we win the election that the deep state is destroyed. It means it is now time to go after the hunters because they have now become the hunted. Trump, he put this out on truth, he said the following. 
2024 is our final battle. With you at my side, remember that, with you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, and fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout out the fake news media and we will drain the swamp. We will liberate our country from these tyrants and villains once and for all. And he's absolutely right. And I do believe he has set the stage for all of this. And we, the people, are going to take back this country. And we are going to be free of all these people. It doesn't mean at the moment we win the election everything is fine. It means now we hunt them down. Now we bring them to the trial. Now we go after these people. But again, he needs the people behind him. And I do believe that this is what this is all about. Everything that you're experiencing, all those people that are nervous, no. The patriots are in control. How did Trump make sure that he had the control? He needed them to actually move forward with the ins insurrection. And this way the military could control things, protect the people, and I do believe Trump wouldn't be doing this unless he had full control. But he is a planner. If you kind of look at his entire business model, he plans everything. And I do believe he plays to win, and I do believe we the people are going to win in the end. Why? Because the Patriots are in control. Listen, everyone, thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot.